Why are you so tense, god damn it? Because I don't know what I'm doing! Calm down. Shut. Hello everybody, it's Philly Cuts with another beer review. Super Bowl Sunday is tomorrow. And I know that a lot of people are getting ready, planning their parties, deciding what beers they want to try out. Or maybe, you know, just resort back to old faithful brews that you know about. But recently, Bex has released a new beer. Bex Sapphire. Made with sapphire hops. Now I'm going into this blind. Don't know much about this beer at all. I saw it on the rack last night. Decided to get some. Try it out. It's got a nice, cool-looking black bottle. Which is really interesting, so you don't have to worry about the light coming in and tainting your beer. So many people are always worried about those green bottles that a lot of the, uh, you know, macro European beers come in. You know, the Becks, the St. Pauli Girls, the, the Grolsches, beers of that nature, Heineken, which is terrible. Anyway, there's the cap. Becks Sapphire. So let's check this out. This has got a 6% ABV. Pretty strong. Drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Dude. Alright, let's open this up. Okay. Alright, so we got, first of all, kind of a soapy-ish head. About two fingers from the cuts. Very, very clear. Wow. Like, ultra clear. Hello. Wow, you can totally see my face in this. Dark... Straw color, I'm not feeling that. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, um... Right away, it's ultra carbonated, very clear. No opaqueness whatsoever. And it smells like a high gravity lager. Uh, if you don't know what a high-gravity lager is, think Hurricane, think um, Steel Reserve, which I have reviewed before, high-gravity lager. Uh, Bud Platinum, too, which actually is, you know, fake high-gravity lager because the Hurricanes and the Steel Reserves come in at 8% and you got your Bud Platinums coming in at 6 Like this. Alright, let's try it. <clears throat> Yep. Yeah, this is a uh, pseudo high gravity lager. Um, so right off the bat, I'm very disappointed. Um, you know the marketing that's out now behind this beer. You know you got that commercial with the black fish and swimming around the bottle. You got the cool, sleek looking bottle, all black, really neat looking. But. You know, that's what the big companies do. They have to put a lot of advertising behind things and a lot of gimmicks and, and flash and pizzazz. And it's essentially a crappy beer at way, 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 way overpriced. Um, a six pack of this, it was $10 plus tax and deposit in New York State. So you're looking at, you know, it's like about eleven fifty in New York for this, for a fake thug uh, pseudo high gravity lager. Very, very sweet uh, tasting. Somewhat metallic. What I will give it is that it is smoother than, say, a Steel Reserve or a Hurricane. It, it isn't quite as harsh. Um, probably because, you know, it's a couple percentage points lower at the 6% AVB. Uh, as opposed to the Steel Reserve, you know, and the Hurricanes, which are coming in around at the 8s. But, um, for the price, this is a ripoff. Yeah, you're totally getting shafted, man. I mean, this is just like sweet adjunct Cornish uh, flavor. Um, I'm sure that if you don't drink this right away while it's cold, it's going to heat up. And that smoothness is going to get tainted and it will become harsher but you know initially out of the bottle it is it is smoother than say a steel reserve but this is a fake pseudo bud platinum-esque high gravity lager so don't be fooled this is crap 
Um, I'm very disappointed. You know, I went into this not knowing what the hell it is. Now I know why they put this shit in the black bottle. Because they have to hide it. Because it's so clear. And freaking carbonated. If you went like this, this thing would probably explode. Raging carbonation in here. I mean, look at it. Look at that. I mean, this is even more carbonated than, say, your Budweiser's or your Coors Light. And I'm not trying to be snobby, but for the $10 price tag, you're not getting your money's worth. All right, I'm going to give this uh, probably a D-. It's, it's, it's bad. I mean, this is just bad. And considering the price of it, it's way, way overpriced. Stay away from this. I don't think you need to make this part of your Super Bowl party. For $10, a six-pack, you could get... Uh, new that's out on the shelves. It comes out once a year around this time. The Ruthless Rye from Sierra Nevada. I would highly recommend that. It's an IPA. Very, very good. It's got like a nice spiciness to it. Or any other Sierra Nevada product. Even lots of the Sam Adam products for $10 a six pack are going to blow this thing out of the frame. And I'm sure lots of people know around the country for $9.99 you can get a pretty good six pack which will be way, way better than this. So I'm sorry, D minus, cuts us out. I'm probably gonna dump the rest of this down the drain. All right, peace.